Hi, my name is Joe Hacker. I'm a certified athletic trainer, certified strength conditioning specialist, with a clinical preceptor at Simon Kenton High School, an employee of Novacare Rehabilitation, as well as a student at the University of Cincinnati in the Masters of Medical Education program. Today I'm going to be presenting to you the clinical anatomy of the foot and ankle for athletic training in the flipped classroom model. Basically what the flipped classroom model is, is rather than the traditional teaching of you go in, you sit for the lecture, you go home, you do the readings, you practice skills you learned in class, you actually go ahead and receive all the lecture online as you're doing now. Then when you get to class, there'll be a short quiz to make sure that you did view this lecture, a brief question and answer session, followed by more lab and guided practice time. Ultimately, it's been shown that you can receive better instruction by doing this, and that's why we're doing this as an experiment today. Ultimately, each one of you have had anatomy and physiology. Therefore, all the material you're about to see is actually a review. In this lecture, we're going to cover the bony anatomy, articulations, soft tissue, arteries and veins, and nerves of the lower leg, foot, and ankle. As we move distally into the ankle, we already see two structures that we've already identified, the fibula and the tibia. Now we see the calcaneus and the talus. The terocruel joint, otherwise known as the ankle mortis, is made up of the tibia, the fibula, and the talus. We often refer to this as the ankle mortis because it closely, it closely resembles a mortis and tenon joint used in carpentry. Once again, we over...
When we look at the fit, we can As we can observe here, there are actually three arches in the foot versus just one. You have the anterior transverse arch, the lateral longitudinal arch, and the medial longitudinal arch. Here we can see a little bit better view of the metatarsal arch. The first view is going to be at the mid-tarsal joints, which what you're seeing is the cuboid, the lateral cuneiform, the middle cuneiform, and the medial cuneiform. The view on the right is that of the more distal metatarsals. And you can see how the arch differentiates between the two views. As we take a closer look at the ankle, Not only is the We now look at the distal tibial
we see the medial aspect of the ankle once again. However, we're going to be looking at the spring ligament complex. The spring ligament complex is actually responsible for absorbing a great amount of body weight and force. The spring ligament complex is actually made up of the spring or calcaneonavicular ligament as well as the plantar ligaments. If you should have any questions regarding this lecture, please feel free to contact me with the email address provided in the email that was forwarded to you.